Hey guys, welcome to the second part of the 5E8 cabinet build. It's time to mark the holes for the chassis screws and cutout. Make sure that the cutout is wide enough so that there is enough clearance for the jacks and labels. For the round corners I'm using a spray can cap as a reference. I'm using a cheap Tesco Eastern European style jigsaw for the cutout. Once you've cut the cutout, test fit the chassis to make sure you have enough clearance for all the components and labels and sand the edges especially at the corners. Center the leather handle, mark it with a sharpie and drill four holes from the top. Then drill the larger holes for the T-nuts from the bottom. In this video you'll notice that I'm using another router table for rounding over the edges of the cabinet. This is also a cheap Tesco router with a round over bit installed. The cheap routers are fine as long as you're using good router bits. Unfortunately the one I've got is not the best. I should replace it in the near future. Since these routers are cheap it's a good idea to have a dedicated router for each purpose rather than to change the setup and bits each and every time. I've modified an old IKEA table just for the roundovers. I cut out a speaker baffle board from a sheet of plywood. I marked the centers for both speakers and drilled the holes. I also measured the hole for my third and final router. I've turned this one into a round hole cutter. If you're interested in how I've built it, write me in the comments below so I can make a dedicated video for you. I secure the center of the jig with a screw, nut and bolt, and then just cut my way around until I close the circle.
I drilled and enlarged the holes for the screws that will hold the speakers in place. I'm gluing down the thin cleats around the baffle. It's a good idea to paint the speaker baffle black so that nothing shines through once the grill cloth is attached. You don't have to make a perfect paint job, but do at least two coats since plywood tend to soak in a lot of paint. I started the rounded cutouts for the tube ventilations and the back panel with a hand drill and then finished it off with a normal drill and the jigsaw. You can paint the back of the speaker baffle as well. In the next video we'll make a short break from woodworking and cabinet making and switch to electronics. I will show you what a choke is, what it's used for in fender amplifiers and how to make one yourself. In the video after that I will finish the cabinet and upholster it with tweed. If you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you would like to see more projects and videos like this one in the future, please support me on Patreon. You can check my Patreon page in the link in the description. Thanks for watching.